They can do. Yeah. Adapt or complain. Yeah. Men complain when they're young and can't get girls. Women complain when they're older and can't get a husband. Pressure. Yeah. Okay. That's I think just going back to the question, though, I think it's a little unfortunate that you guys don't want to at least even just say that you think that it's wrong. The reality is wrong. Because, look, that the fact that that's the reality, mm. that's the reality. I, of course. Yeah. I see that. But the fact that you guys just can't answer my question and say because yes, men I think are it's objective. wrong. So it's, it's a little telling. And you know what? You guys are saying the whole time that we don't want to answer questions, but you guys didn't even answer my question. So we, we, we did, did answer we just it. Did. No, multiple you, times. You guys, we told you, we you said don't have no an comment. Opinion. Multiple times you guys said, I can't comment on that. No comment. No, but we, that's fine. If, you know. We just no, we gave you, you a long ass answer, answer. You just don't like Maybe the answer of why reality is yeah. the way it is. But if you would have asked us, you would have been like, okay, but what do you think? What do you think? What's okay, but don't worry about what other people are outside of it but how do you this is the it? difference between how men and women think this is a perfect example right now guys take your fucking yeah. notebooks down <laughs> notice how we said we accept the reality right for what it is fuck our feelings we accept it for what it is yeah you guys want us to get on the female lens and feel it's wrong or right our hope and we're telling you that reality is immoral so we don't care men aren't our feelings are irrelevant we accept objective reality so Oh, how do I feel about this? We don't feel anything. We accept it. I understand the reality, but this was a segment. This was the part of the show that you guys were saying, do you have any questions for us? And I was asking you it. for your opinion. And you guys were saying, oh, I can't comment on this. Maybe you guys should just watch this podcast back and see what I was saying, because I feel like you guys are not understanding. Or you just want to, you don't want to say the words, which I understand because this is what your podcast like relies on. This is your whole basis of your podcast. You guys are like reframing misogynistic ideals for modern men to consume and be okay oh. with. <laughs> so, but that's, that was my question. Can, and can if you, you guys didn't want to answer it, that's What was misogynist? Yeah, can you tell us what was misogynistic about the podcast? Nice. Please tell us. You guys can just scroll through your Instagram page, you guys. Can you tell us what was misogynistic? Just one thing. One, one thing? thing. Yeah, because that's a pretty serious claim. It is. That's a pretty, that's a pretty, uh, you guys have your preferences claim. and you guys have your, have your preference, your preferences, which is fine, but there are definitely some misogynistic tendencies you guys have, especially throughout Can your you Instagram tell us what page. It is then? Yeah. For example, on one of your posts, um, I believe you said there was an example that you wanted to hook up with a girl. She didn't want to hook up with you, mm -hmm. um, which is fine. Like mm -hmm. you said, like you said, it was fine. Yeah. Um, but I had to put her in her place. Hmm. So I had to, I said, okay, guys, if a girl doesn't want to hook up with you, that's fine. But put her in her place. You got to call another girl in front of her and let her know. Like, yes. it's just, it just seems like in that, in that, like in that little video I saw, it's like your ego is so hurt by the fact that a woman doesn't want to sleep with you that you have to go out of your way to disrespect mm. for it and disrespect her instead of just leaving her apartment and going. You have the freedom to do what you want to do. You want to go sleep with five girls after her? That's fine. But it's just like, you know, you guys definitely have those misogynistic tendencies. And I see it in your comments, girls, you know going off in your comments and it's just like but i get it this is the basis of your podcast this is why guys watch your podcast your fan base is just like you guys you know a lot of the time i'm sure um but i mean it's interesting to hear and i thank you for inviting me and all right you know, so hold on no no great. no I, I gotta I, I gotta rebut that real quick no of course yeah so okay so when a woman says i don't want to have sex is she uh, is she's making she's making a boundary essentially right she's saying she's she doesn't want to have sex right so what is wrong with me also having a boundary and saying, if you don't want to have sex, now you no longer get my attention, leave. What is wrong with that? No, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so how is that misogynistic that I'm exerting a boundary as well in response to her exerting her boundary? No, saying to leave is fine. I'm saying, um, you said that, you're like, no, guys, if she, place, you got to yeah. put her in her place. You got to put her in your place. And in that moment, you got to call a girl in front of her. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I said, is. no, I said, I'll call a girl in front of her. Yeah. But the point is, is that, you need to remember, keep in mind that I'm teaching men, not women. Mm -hmm. So what a lot of guys will do is they'll let their girls sit there and continue to get their non-sexual attention and think it's okay. And hope. Reinforce. Oh, yeah. Re you're reinforcing Thanks. undesirable behavior from the woman. Mm -hmm. And you're letting her know it's acceptable for you to, with to withhold sex from me. And what I'm telling men is, no, that's not acceptable. Kick her out of your house. Just like you have the ability to exert your boundary. I don't want to have sex. I don't feel comfortable. Cool. That's fine. On the male side. I don't feel comfortable hanging out with you anymore now. You have to leave. The problem is this, ladies. Anytime a man exerts a boundary, right, of what he wants from a woman, especially if it's sexual, it's considered misogynistic. misogynistic. So in other words, it's okay for women to say what they want from men, but it is not okay for men to say what they want from women. And what we simply tell guys is you have the option to kick her out too. You don't have to sit there and tolerate her leveraging sex against you for compliance. That is not misogynistic. Can, do you know what the definition of misogyny is? 
I'm saying that's not you n- telling her to leave or you leaving is what not does, what does misogynistic. misogyny mean? What does misogyny mean? Misogyny, it's like, um, you know, being against women in general. No, it is the hatred and or contempt of women. Yes. Thank where you do we say we hate women? Definition. Please tell us where. Mm-hmm. Where 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 do we hate women? Where? Where do you hate women? Yes. Yeah. Is that the only definition of misogyny? Yeah. Yeah. Which is why, which it's is a why, very, very strong words. It's a very, it, yeah, that's and a very serious also, accusation. So if you're going to say that, then b- back it up with. We have no problem. Yeah, with I mean, you I, just, we're I just gave you a whole example. You can play it back on the podcast later if you want to listen to it again. But and you, you even even called a woman a bitch on your podcast live. Sorry for saying the b word. Hold by on. Way, how, how does me exerting a boundary uh, show that I hate women? Maybe she meant patriarchal, not no, no, no. Let her answer it. Let her answer it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I already explained it wasn't the fact that you were setting a boundary. You were saying in the video, oh, I have to put a woman in her place because she doesn't want to have sex with me. So I'm going to go ahead and call a woman in front of her just to make a point and feel and make her feel disrespected. And it's just like that that type of behavior is just so unnecessary. If you if if you're that if your ego is that hurt that a woman doesn't want to sleep with you, then just leave or just tell her to leave. Like, why do you have to be disrespectful like that? And then like on another video you were on live calling a woman a bitch. It's like I just think that's a little disrespectful. Very disrespectful. Okay. So w- there's a couple things that here. So number one, uh by telling a girl to leave, that does not mean that I hate the hate women. I didn't say that. That's what misogynistic means. Means that's, you hate women. That's what you're saying, basically. I didn't say because he told her to leave. That's misogynistic. I'm saying he was saying that he, guys, you gotta put women in their place. Like if we're some submissive dogs that need to be put in our place, like no, we don't. Who leads relationships, men or women? Who leads relationships? Yeah. Um, men most of the time. Yeah. Okay. So by asserting dominance, what are you doing? You're taking leadership of the relationship, right, or the interaction, correct? Yeah. Okay. So you're asserting dominance, which is which is what men should do and what makes men attractive in the first place. So attraction isn't moral, as I said before. And nowhere in there did I say I hate women by exerting a boundary. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with a woman saying I don't want to have sex. And it's also nothing wrong for me to say you need to leave and I'm going to call another woman. I'm in my own home. I can do what I want. If I want to call a woman in front of her, that's whatever. But that in no means means I'm a misogynist. I'm saying the way you talk it's about women. Lame. Yeah, and you it's just I'm saying the the what the, the way you were saying it. Oh, if a woman doesn't want to have sex with you men, you have to put her in her place. Okay, like you I, gotta I, use I hate logic repeating here. myself. You're, you're going so, uh, you're going off of feelings like So it's, you, it's not you, what he said, it's how he said it, right? No, it is what he said. He said what he said in the video. You guys can play it or rewatch it. I don't know what you want to do. And like I said, you've called women a bitch. The B when did word. I call a woman on, a bitch? When? It's on your Instagram page. I saw it yesterday. Okay. So, hold on. What she do? But... Hold on, hold on. Yeah, because that's the thing. Yeah. I've called men bitches. I've yeah. called women bitches. I've called. I've insulted everyone. Here's the thing that you don't like. Women have fought for equality. Therefore, they're equal and they can make their own decisions. Correct from from a society standpoint, right? Same rights, same privileges, whatever. I can't actually. I can't think of a right or a privilege that a woman has that a man doesn't. I can find privileges that women have that men don't. A lot. So, with that said, women are free to make their choices. The difference is, is that there's consequences to these choices. You don't want to have sex? Cool. Now you must leave. Nothing misogynistic about me exerting a boundary just like she did. Number two, calling a woman a bitch. Under what context? Because if a woman is acting rude or crass, she can be called a bitch just like any other woman and or any other man. I insult everyone the same. I've kicked men off this show. I've kicked women off this show. So calling a woman, women don't get privileged for being women just to act ridiculous and not be called out on it. If I call a woman a bitch, under what context was it? She probably did something wrong for me to call her that. Are you a misogynist because you refer to other women as bitches? I'm sure you have referred to other women as bitches. Are you a misogynist for that? Women, when women, when women refer to other women as bitches, it's like, oh, hey, bitch. It's not like mm-hmm. you're a fucking yeah, bitch. Like, no, always. sorry. Okay, have you never called a woman a bitch in a degrading form to, to, to shit on her? Are you fucking bitch? You've never done that. Of course I've called a woman. Are you a misogynist? No, but okay. I'm saying... I'm saying I'm trying to say that in that video, what you were doing is like you it seems like your ego was so hurt that sh- that w- the girl didn't want to sleep with you, that you have to go out of your way to call a woman in front of her just to make her feel bad. 
And like you're you're talking you were talking about women in a way that you have to teach them a lesson if they don't want to sleep with you. And it's just like, why? Why can't a woman just not want to sleep with you because she doesn't want to sleep with you? And, and that's OK. But there's consequences to, to that. that. Why should there be consequences if oh, I don't okay, want to sleep on, hold on. with you? If 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 I don't if you don't want to sleep with me, why should I continue to give you attention? You you're just, not entitled to my time or my attention. That's the problem. So women. You 